Hey everyone and welcome to a very very special look back at the year that was 2020 in New Japan Pro Wrestling. My name's Chris Charlton and to help us look back at the year that was the very best matches and the very best moments of 2020, it's two very special friends of mine, the Chaos Coach Rocky Romero. How you guys doing? Great to be here. And the Bullet Club adjacent Gino Gambino. Am I the Bullet Club coach now? I like this. I want to. I want to be the uh, health and well-being coach for Bullet Club, like their fitness trainer. Have you got the the gear? Have you got the, Have you got Have you got the relevant fitness? The relevant fitness wear, Gino. That's the question. You know. Oh, that's not very nice. But How dare you, Chris? <laughs> I'm fit. I'm like a. Yeah. yeah anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this year, this episode for the next half an hour or so, we're going to be talking. We're going to be giving some officially unofficial awards for the best moments of the year and we're also going to be talking of course about Wrestle Kingdom 15 coming up January the 4th and January the 5th from the Tokyo Dome all coming to you live in English and njpwworld.com and to that end that kind of you know links into where we all are right now the eagle-eyed viewers might recognize Gino Gambino's corporate offices behind him uh, of course, I'm right here in our wonderful studios in Tokyo, but Rocky, you're in a special place right now. Tell the people where you are and why you're there. Chris, I'm not too far from you. I, I'm just uh, a short drive or so uh, here in Narita, where I am uh, doing my 14-day quarantine, getting ready for Wrestle Kingdom. I'm finally going to put the the group back together, guys. We're gonna have a little bit of a reunion and we're gonna do it live in the Tokyo Dome without Gino Gambino, of course. Hold on a second. Why are you there and I'm not there? How did that happen? Well, I, you know, you, if you're a draw, <laughs> Gino, you get invited to these big events, you bring the people with you, and uh, you know, everybody's gonna be tuning in to njpwworld.com to hear the voice of Wrestle Kingdom, Rocky and Matt. I'm gonna do alternative commentary. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to do alternative. You press the button on New Japan World and you can just listen I to me the whole time. Right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> me and Snoop Dogg. That's what's that's the I'm gonna make that happen. Alternative commentary. Well speaking of of draws, the wonderful draw that, that Rocky Morero is Gino Gambino going not so much but you know i mean we do have drawing equipment here and i hope everybody brought their their writing equipment with them uh to help us you know last year our our artistic skills were, were such a, a wonderful hit that, that today i thought we'd we'd bring that back together um of course the voice of wrestle kingdom kevin kelly will be with us for wrestle kingdom and beyond uh he's experiencing some technical issues right now so he can't be with us but we're here and we're going to be giving some awards to the very best of NJPW in 2020, starting with our first award, guys. And our first, uh, you know, award, our first impression, I wanted to talk about first impressions in NJPW. So, you know, while, while you sort of write down what first impressions might come to you uh, from this year, uh, you know, let, let me admit, perhaps jog your memory. So many fantastic debuts. You had Team Filthy debut on, on NJPW Strong, of course. Uh, Leo Rush came on board during Super J Cup. You know, guys like Great Okan, guys like uh, Master Wato, you know, even just concept, concepts. You know, so, um, NJPW Strong in general made its debut this year. And uh, that was such a huge first impression. So, uh, you know, let's, let's think about that. And you're, you're writing away. I'm going to write my answer. I'm writing. I, I didn't draw this one. You're going to draw this one. I'm, I'm writing this one too. But yeah, yeah, can I write this one? Can we do a writing for this one? My my pen's not working. I'm gonna have to think of some sort of. This is a. I'm telling you, this whole <laughs> thing is cursed, Chris. <laughs> oh wait, I'm 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 doing a little picture work. Though. A little bit of a picture work. Okay, so your your time is running out in three, two, and one. So Gino Gambino and Rocky Romero. So are, are we gonna do one, two, three? Ready? One, two, three, go. You two guys. What's it? Oh, okay. Can I go first? Because mine's much better than Rocky's. So I've got <laughs> yeah. Evil joining the Bullet Club. That happened this year, right? Right, right. right. Yeah, so, good. Okay. Right. So what, a, what an addition to the Bullet Club was Evil. Then I got Master Watto, who has had an amazing debut. Yeah. And then the best 2020 of anyone is Doki with the Doki Chokey. The Doki didn't debut this year, Gino. 
It doesn't matter. The Doki Choki debuted this year. Well, neither did the Italian Stretch 32. You're calling it the Doki Choki debuted this year. So evil Master Watto Doki Choki 2020. Is that one, two, three, or is that three, yeah. two, one? <laughs> like the Brownlow. Do you know what that is? But uh, three points to Master Watto. Okay, Rocky, uh, you chose, of course, NJPW Strong, which uh, yeah, we can see you uh, yeah, most Friday nights on. Why is there an egg in a basket? No, no, that's that's my <laughs> ring, and then that's my that's my lion mark. But I couldn't make it's a an lion egg. fast enough, so I just <laughs> I just put an egg in a basket. <laughs> Uh, what was yours, Chris? Strong, NJ, NJPW Strong. I mean, a whole host of talent, like you said. Tom Lawler, Team Filthy uh, debuting. Fred Rosser, uh, you know, Brody King, myself. Uh, I mean, so many wrestlers appeared on it. I, I think it's a great show. I'm a big fan, and I wrestle on it every week. So, Can I ask a question? I love it. Yeah. Go ahead. Alex Kozlov's not calling Tokyo Dome, is he? <laughs> You're ruining the surprise. I would be bro. furious. I would be <laughs> furious. <laughs> he is my former tag team partner. So oh, that, well, you've got a lot of former tag team partners. We've well, had that conversation. Well, th- I mean, that, that, that sort of ties into what, you know, my, um, my number one, my first impression was Great Okan. And, uh, you know, him coming out at the end of, of the G1 Climax, um, laying out Kazuchika Okada and the formation of the Empire, and that brings us on to, you know, a couple of, of course, key matches coming up January the 4th. Um, Kazuchika Okada versus Will Ospreay. Hiroshi Tanahashi uh, versus the great Okan. And, uh, you know, Rocky, I wanted to get your thoughts um, on Okada and Osprey, especially. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, it was Jay White turning his back um, on Okada, turning his back on Chaos. Um, and Okada really, don't, don't give me that face, Gino. Okada, uh, you know, he lost a, a mentor figure in, in Gedo, you know, when, when Gedo's moved to Bullet Club from Chaos. Um, but now a very different situation where Okada was a mentor, was an elder brother figure uh, to Will Ospreay um, before everything went down and, and Will Ospreay spit and formed the empire. Um, what's your take on Kazuchika Okada's mental status going into January the 4th? Uh, you know, I, I like you said, it's a completely different situation. You know, I, I think get you know Gato was like, I don't want to say father figure, but obviously that that older mentor figure. So um, I, I think for this one, it stings because he took care of Osprey. He was the whole reason that Osprey even got an opportunity to come to New Japan, leading to a contract. I mean, he was just a kid. He was just a skinny kid from uh, you know the outskirts of London and. Okada found him, brought him to New Japan, and here's the rise of, of Will Ospreay. And the guy turned his back on him just for the bag, you know? He, like, Osprey sucks. Hold he on. Sucks did, what, did you get paid by Okada, Rocky? What's going on here? Okada yes, I get found paid Osprey. By Okada. Yes, chaos. I get paid by Okada. You don't get paid in Bullet Club Wait, or what? what? <laughs> Bullet Club don't get paid. That's a lie. <laughs> but my point is, Osprey made a name for himself. I'm going to put this out there. Chris, I nearly said Kevin because I said it a lot. But I feel like I'm a Bullet Club guy. You know that. But the Empire has to be one of the most dangerous factions to come out in the last couple of years. It is scary to see the talent they've got in there. When you've got B Priestley, Will Ospreay, Jeff Cobb, the great O'Khan, and I'm sure there's more to come too. This is a faction that everyone needs to be on their toes with. Forget Okada and Chaos, okay? Forget Suzuki Gun, or maybe I shouldn't have said that. But my point is... The empire will strike back. It's going to be scary. And, you know, Gino, you've, you've spoken wow. in the past about, uh, you know, however much you, you are in the tank for Bullet Club. Um, you've been very open about your respect for Hiroshi Tanahashi. And, and all of us here um, owe a significant debt over, over the, the whole reason why we're here, you know, really, um, is because of the, episode, uh, the efforts of Tanahashi in, in creating this uh, golden era that, that we're kind of living in in, in NJPW. Um, Gino, what, what's your position on Tanahashi now? Where where very much, uh, you know, he's had a very difficult year uh, over the past 12 months. And, uh, you know, he's in a position where it really feels like perhaps could this be the end of an era at Wrestle Kingdom 15 opposite Great Okan? Well, 
look, we, we all know. We all know what the ace has done to carry this company on his shoulders. But eventually the weight, the responsibility takes its toll. He's a little bit older. He's, you know, his match numbers are what now? Probably in the thousands, Chris. He's probably had over a That's thousand cool. matches, right? Yeah. And most of them would be main events. His body is taking a toll. Is it time for the ace to pass the torch to someone else and be like, hey, you're responsible for the company now. I can't keep carrying this on my shoulders. It's too much. I think as, as much as I respect the ace and the only reason half of us are here is because of him, it might be time for the ace to you know, go, hey, I, I'm not the number one guy. I'm not Mr. Tokyo Dome anymore. But could Mr. Tokyo Dome be Rocky Great Okan, who's, who's really been uh, just an incredible you know, force of nature since he's come into New Japan? No, I mean, Great Okan, ha- you know, he doesn't have anything to lose going against uh, somebody like Hiroshi Tanahashi in, in a big match situation like the Tokyo Dome. Uh, and, and Tanahashi at this moment, I, I feel, you know, he, he, he obviously has his reputation. He, ha- he has... Uh, you know, that last bit, because everybody's doubting Tanahashi yet again. Here we find ourselves uh, going into Wrestle Kingdom thinking like, well, this is it. This is the last time that we see that, that big Hiroshi Tanahashi moment. But you can't count out the ace. You just can't. And right when you think he's down and out, he finds some way because he is, he's not human. He's, he's superhuman. He, he really is just... Uh, you know, one in a million when you talk about somebody like Hiroshi Tanahashi. And that's the truth because not only did the guy carry the company on his shoulders out of, uh, you know, the, the worst uh, possible situation that, that New Japan could have been in uh, many years ago. I saw the guy do the high fly flow every night for like 200 nights out of the year. I mean, this guy is above and beyond what strong style means. And, uh, and he's got a heart bigger than than anything. So I I feel like, uh, you know, this might just be another test for Hiroshi Tanahashi and I I feel like he can pull through. All right. So let's uh, move on to our our next award here and our next uh, chance to write or draw. And our next award here is is the award for biggest growth. Now, I mean, I think some, you know, different shows we talk about most improved and I kind of think that that casts a, a certain image on well you weren't good before and a lot that there's the level of competition here in new japan is so high um but i think from one step to the next uh you know that that biggest growth award you think of someone like evil coming into bullet club yuya uramura being very impressive through the year as a young lion um doki and the doki choki gino perhaps um yoshihashi as well uh yeah what what's uh, what's your view for the biggest growth of the year I have one that I'm going to write down and one that instantly comes to mind. I'm not, I'm not sure I, I don't have the artistic licks to draw his wonderful mask. But are you ready, Gino? Hold on. Hold on. This is, are you creating a masterpiece over here? I am. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go in three, two... One, right. <laughs> okay. So the so, biggest growth is going to be Will Ospreay because <laughs> oh, whatever that kid's on, it says is huge. It says in in. Will. I'm Will. Oh, I'm Will. Okay. Hello. I'm Will. I'm Will. Hello. Hello. Hello, Will. <laughs> but no, okay. Maybe the biggest growth. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. No, of course you put Show Rocky. It's not Will, even though Will's huge. See, I drew him huge. Okay. Show. He's jacked. I don't want it to be Show. Yoshihashi. Ah, well, yeah, Yoshihashi. One hell of a 2020. This is true. I'm not, I, 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 he was my original uh, pick when I wrote it down, was Yoshihashi. But then I, I started to think about it when, we, when you uh, started setting up the question there, Chris. And I started to think, think about show, but not only show, but kind of like the whole junior division has really stepped up. Uh, in a major way. And I thought Sho did such an awesome job in the New Japan Cup uh, and how far he went uh, against bigger, heavier wrestlers. And then, you know, his singles match with Shingo. And I just was like, Sho, man, had a great, great year and really stepped up. So I see, I feel like the biggest growth for me w- was Sho. And, and that's a personal thing too, because obviously 
I'm his coach and mentor. And well, I mean, I, I, I added some stick men to, to, to my pick of, of El Desperado um, here. This, is, this was him during Best of the Super Juniors where he voluntarily demasked and we saw what a handsome devil uh, El Desperado is. With or without. What's with masked wrestlers being the most attractive <laughs> men in wrestling? Why would you black. wear a mask? I mean, I was black black before. It, in CMLL, it, like your guys do masks, and it's like, wow, what, what, what are you doing under that, that hood? I if know, I find out real Lee's good looking, I'll be real upset. <laughs> 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 well, El Desperado, you know, I think he's he's always been been a fantastic wrestler, but I think this year we really saw uh, him broaden what what he was able to do or you know broaden the situations that he was in whether he was uh, taking on Shingo Takagi for the Never Openweight Championship uh, that was a fantastic match being part of the New Japan Cup um, and then in Best of the Super Juniors and the journey that he took us on especially with that that feud with uh, Hiromi Takahashi in that wonderful uh, main event that, that Gino you and I were able to call with with Kevin um just a, a fantastic performance and uh, you know if if you weren't you know if you were kind of thinking that el desperado you know maybe in the middle of the heat maybe a, a, a tag team specialist but this year you know i think he really made us see well what a, a top guy that, that he can be and uh you know but that said it was that match with uh Hiromi takahashi that recency bias um that fantastic budokan main event uh, but he lost that main event. He lost that main event to Hiromu Takahashi, uh, Gino. And that means on January the 4th, it's going to be Hiromu versus ELP. And then the winner of that match faces Taiji Ishimori for the Junior Heavyweight Championship January the 5th. So, uh, Gino, it could How be... How exciting... Yeah, it could be an all bullet club. Night two. Bullet all bullet club. club. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, give us some of that bullet club gossip. Hey, listen, yeah. the, shut up, Rocky. ELP versus Ishimori night two. That, that, you might as well not watch night one. Who cares? I mean, watch it because I need to get paid. But that, just watch, watch night two. It's going to be a better match. I'm all for ELP Ishimori. What a shock that we've been talking about the junior division for the last five minutes and only just mentioned Ishimori. Do you find that a bit interesting, Rocky, that we talk about your show, we talk about our Desperado. No one mentions Ishimori, the man who's got the gold around his waist, having a beautiful night off on night one. Fantastic. And then night two, ELP, they'll have a nice little competitive, respectful match. And then the best of Bullet Club juniors will hold the title. That's what wrestling's all about. But... Let's not forget, Al Desperado, though, has some claim. He has some claim because he did have one hell of a tournament. So I'm up in the air, but I'm very much looking forward to night two All Bullet Club. It's going to be a fantastic pair of uh, junior heavyweight contests. And, and Rocky, you know, um, you know the, the pressures of, of competing in high stakes matches on successive nights and, uh, you know, having to wrestle at a consistently high performance. Um, and that means, you know, you'll be able to speak to the champion's advantage here for Taiji Ishimori, coming in fresh on January the 5th, whereas Hiromu and El Fantasmo are going to have a hell of a battle on January the 4th and then have to immediately turn around to face the champion the very next night. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, Taiji Ishimori gets to sit at home with the rest of us, or you know, most of us, with Gino, and watch, you know... ELP and Hiromu have this, this battle and then he gets to pick and choose how he's going to formulate his game plan the next night and how he's going to possibly beat the guy who just got the hell beat out of him the night before. I mean, champion's advantage is working to uh, Taiji's advantage this time. So completely. I mean, I, I respect it. I respect what, what uh, Ishimori's done. This That's what time. I like I to hear, to. Rocky. That's much nicer. It's the truth. See, Rocky's learned. This time away has been good for Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> time away from the Bullet Club is always good. Wrap it up, Chris. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go on to our, our next award here. And here, you know, this is, we're really going to test, stretch your artistic, uh, you know, merits here today because we're going to talk about the, an honorary award, the Hiroshi Tanahashi Tear Jerker of the Year Award. Now, you know, this is, <laughs> The award for most emotional moment of the year, uh, named for Hiroshi Tanahashi, because 
let's face it, the ace has has balled a fair bit in 2020. <laughs> when you think about, uh, you know, it's starting with Liger's retirement and, uh, you know, then and all the other retirements we had this year, Taiga Hidori, Manabe Nakanishi. Um, then when New Japan came back, uh, you know, from, from lockdown and Tanahashi was balling then, he was crying after his, his main event victory over, over Kenta during the G1. Uh, so that's, that's why Tanahashi gets the name for this award. Uh, but uh, let's see here. I've got one specific moment in mind uh, for me here that I'm going to try and, and live up to the best of my abilities here. Uh, there we go. Okay. And there and there. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, my hair's terrible. Okay. okay. And there and that. And that is that. Okay. So here's mine. Gino, have you got yours? Ready? Hold on. I'm doing a speech bubble. Okay. Well, I'll talk you through mine as, uh, you know, as, as you're drawing yours. And, and what is that? well, this is, it's so this is, this is a, a video. This is a screen and that's a computer and a keyboard and a, and a YouTube thing. Now I'm going to sort of a peek behind the curtain into our kind of day to days. Um, you know, here in the company, you know, a lot, a lot of my day to day, um, you know, or some of my day to day, uh, you know, duties here in the company is, is to deal with some, sometimes some subtitling and some editing and some videos that, that have to go out into the world uh, in both Japanese and English. And, and I do some of the work uh, connected with that. And um, when we were away from action for what, over 100 days, something like that, three months with, with no matches. And then when we finally came back for the Together Project special, and we, we had messages from fans all over the world um, come in and, and send us videos. And uh, so that was some of my job to kind of, oh, look at this, can you put a couple of, of captions on there? And I got that, that video a couple of days in advance before it went up, and I was watching that, and, and just, just boldly, someone was cutting onions at that moment of like, we were separated for this uh, for so long, so much uncertainty, and then for wrestling to come back and, and give us that energy again, that was uh, such a, an emotional moment for me. Um, but uh, yeah, Rocky, what have you- Great video from the, from the fans. Oh, I love that video. That was a great video that, oh. That got me too, Chris. I, I completely forgot about that until you mentioned it. Um, but I went with, there was two moments for me. I mean, obviously, there was Liger retiring, right? That this and then, okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, right? my God. 2020, yeah. That was the beginning of 2020. And then there was Yoshihashi winning his first championship belt, and that was a really bad championship belt. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but Yoshihashi, because... He's probably the sweetest man of all time and he works so hard and he tries so hard. He really does. And, and to finally get that, his first taste of championship gold and, and just what a great emotional moment after just such a crazy year it's been. And especially uh, at the time uh, that he won the title, uh, it, it was, it was awesome. And it was meaningful for, for so many fans and it touched so many fans, you know, across the world. So, uh, just a really awesome moment and it makes you just love what we do professional wrestling and, and, you know, I don't know. I love it. And of course, it, I feel like you got to put Liger in there because there was, I mean, that's why Tanahashi was crying in the first place. <laughs> you know, the so, karaoke moment of it. we just forgot about it. You know, that, energy, that was amazing. But uh, yes, I mean, a, a fantastic picture. In the in the words of Juice Robinson, Ichiban Sweet Boy Yoshihashi winning his first championship. <laughs> Gino, what's what's your moment there with the with the speech bubbles and all? Show it. Show us your masterpiece. So that's me, okay. and I'm sad. <laughs> watching in the sad. Tokyo Dome and not being there. <laughs> and it says, I'm Gino, I'm sad. That's my tea drinker. I think it's a good mate with a mask That's on. That's 2021, bro. That's 22, yeah. I didn't, didn't that. <laughs> okay, that's me, that's me watching <laughs> all New Japan this year and not being there. It was very sad because, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm, I've been a New Japan fan for a very long time and I, I, I went to my first Wrestle Kingdom before I started, you know, working with the company. And I know what it's like to be a fan and feel like you're missing out on live shows. It's, it's so nice when you're in Japan. Everyone is so lovely. All the New Japan staff treat you like 
you know, you're the most important person in the arena. And it's, it's just, it's going to be sad to not be part of that. And I'm sure a lot of fans are feeling the same and it'll be very much looking forward to when things are back to normal and we can all come together again. I know there's a lot of fans in Canada and the U S there's a lot of fans in the UK and Europe who, uh, as well as Australia, who are going to miss out this year on uh, wrestle kingdom, but something tells me 2022, we're going to be all back together. Hopefully me. I don't, what's the new boss's name, Chris? <laughs> well, hopefully me. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, look, that's what I'm looking forward to. 2020 hasn't been great for a lot of people, but I think 2021 and New Japan is going to be super strong style. Well, I'll Chris, say I, I want to give something. you some trivia. Do you know? Can I give you some trivia for a second? Who's two wrestlers on this phone call right now that debuted in their New Japan debut in the Tokyo Dome? Yes. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. pretty impressive. The New Japan and debuted at the Dome. Never forget. You. I know. So did I. You see that? <laughs> and look where our careers have taken us. <laughs> I'll dig out. I'll dig out. I'll dig out some uh, some special photos. We'll we'll put it in the insert here for Gino Gambino's <laughs> debut. Well, I'll have to do some digging. It might take a while. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'll tell you something that, that's going to make you happy, Gino, and that will be on January the fourth, uh, perhaps. A team that has surpassed, that has survived one curse. They've, they've expunged one curse. The World Tag League curse is no more for Gorillas of Destiny. And you'd think, well, I'm sure Gino is all in the tank for G.O.D. Uh, winning the IWGP Tag Team titles on January the 4th against Dangerous Techers. Look, G.O.D., uh, we focus very much on World Tag League. It was important. Okay, it was an asterisk against a, a team that has won si uh, six New Japan tag team IWGP heavyweight tag team. You know what I mean, right? My point is, now comes the curse of the Tokyo Dome. Now, GOD doesn't have the best record in the Tokyo Dome. We know that. This will now solidify them. This now puts in concrete that they are the best tag team ever in the history of New Japan. And that is such a claim. That is such a big thing to put on your shoulders. So Tokyo Dome is important for GOD for a lot of reasons. Can they take on Dangerous Techers and win back what's rightfully theirs for the seventh time? And can they knock that last curse off of not being the winners in the Tokyo Dome? And what a moment. Think about that moment. If GOD gets that, how important it is for them and the lineage, their family history of who they are and where they've come from. To be standing in that ring in Tokyo, in Tokyo Dome at Wrestle Kingdom as a champion, it's a massive deal. But a huge mountain to climb when it comes to dangerous techers on January the 4th as well, of course. And then on January the 5th, uh, Rocky, another title match, Shingo Takagi and Jeff Cobb in what could be, well, what it will certainly be the hoss fight of the weekend. It might be the hoss fight of the year, I have a feeling. I mean, the, these are getting too mountain mountainous men going to meet right in the middle of that ring for i would see what it's kind of the bmf title as we've we've kind of said it uh you know we've used the uh the never open weight title to to kind of represent that uh it's going to be a battle it's going to be an awesome battle of two really amazing athletes in in every sense of the words and uh, i'm really really excited and looking forward to that matchup all right. Well, let's uh, sort of bring it home here. And, and uh, you know, I, I wanted to get there's There's so many other things that we could talk about. Um, but, you know, with, with time being against us and Wrestle Kingdom and Tokyo Dome being right around the corner, uh, let's, let's cut to the chase. Let's, let's think about our MVP of 2020, the most valued player of the entire year. I know, like, Gino's probably already written it down before we even started. Let's face it. No, I got a blank piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> Starting again. How do you spell Jado? Jado. Really? <laughs> How dare you? Um, oh, oh, this, uh, look, this is difficult. Hold on. How do I draw? Uh, okay. Just give me, Chris, I had to call your brother before this, the better Charlton, to get some tips on how to draw so i'm hoping this drawing is much better okay hold on give me a moment i just really i'm really happy with this all right here we go hold on get, 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 get. should i go first come on well gina's going yeah, you go. yeah here you go here you go 
Okay. Are you ready? Ah! Oh! I, I also went LIJ. Gino is too late. LIJ as well. Wow! But well, this is it is pretty good. Unprecedented. They say I. I'm surprised, Gino. Evil has been the MVP. Since joining the Buller Club, Evil has made everything better. Look at him there. What a be I think I've drawn that really well. Can I just say, I have captured the essence of I Evil. I feel like you did good, but you have to put his eyes rolling back on the side. <laughs> Look, I'm not that good. I want to draw Milano <laughs> crying in the corner, but I couldn't. <laughs> Point is, Evil has stepped up. He was always in the shadows of Sonata. He was always in the shadows of Naito. And now he's stepped up. The man had double gold. Everyone forgets that. Everyone goes, oh, Naito, first man to have double gold. Evil was the first man to beat the man who had double gold. So that's what we have to remember. Evil is up there. He's just in the background. He's playing his little games. He is the MVP of 2020. Well, I'm surprised. You know, we'll get on to our main event on, on January 4th and January 5th in, in just a little bit. But, but Evil and Sonata, of course, on January the 5th. And that's going to be a heck of a contest. And we've seen uh, Gino a change in Sonata's demeanor back at the Budokan. I think Sonata's had enough. I think he's just like, you know what? Enough. Enough of this. Enough of your bullying. Enough of your tactics. Sonata's very cool, calm, and collected. We see a lot of him as we're sort of passing throughout the halls in the back. But he's just snapped. He's just like, I've, I've just had enough of this. I think 2020 has, uh, is Sonata. He's like, good. Now we're on. Now it's 2021. And I'm going to have to, you know, beat you up a little bit. I think it's going to be a great match. Now, the bonus is we have the health and safety uh, officer in... Uh, Dick Togo, who's going to be there, making sure the corner pads are in the corner, making sure the chairs are under the ring, making sure the ropes mm -hmm. are measured. And that might just help Evil that little bit to know that he is in a very work-safe environment. Wow. That corner pads aren't going to magically fall off like they have sometimes. Uh -huh. What's magically. wrong, Chris? Why you got that? Yeah, point? magically. Yeah, magically. Yeah, we'll get onto that. But... Uh... Yo, I, I went with uh, Hiromu. This is, this is my picture. Sorry, it's a little bit, my O's rubbed off there. But there he is. That's, uh, that's his, his Daryl there next to him. That big chonky Daryl that came out. Triple XL that you can get now. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you've got the finance there. And then, of course, yeah, and then, of course, <laughs> wash your hands and, and gargle. That became a, 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 a mantra that we were all trying to do here. Um, but my goodness, you think of everything that he did, entering into the New Japan Cup, uh, beating Toriyano, beating Tomohiro Ishii as a junior heavyweight, um, living his dream of being on prime time broadcast television uh, in the main event against Kazuchika Okada during the New Japan Cup, um, challenging for the double title as a junior heavyweight, challenging evil, um, you know, and then of course the, his run in Best of the Super Juniors, uh, unbelievable. But Rocky, you went with Tetsuya Naito and Naito and Ibushi, night one main event, January the 4th. It's going to be a, a, just an unpredictable affair and very, very dangerous for both men. No, absolutely. When we, we saw, uh, you know, the last time that the, these guys had a series of matches, everybody was betting and, and worried that, that one of them might destroy the other one at some point. So, uh, it, you know, I don't know what's going to happen on, on January 4th, uh, especially going to January 5th with Jay White waiting in the wings, ready to, to take advantage of whatever happens to the winner on January 4th. But um, I think Naito has been the glue holding New Japan together in 2020 from the the beginning of the year at tokyo dome and wrestle kingdom all the way to to now and where we sit now he has been the consistent player to constantly show up and really show i think in the g1 was consistently the best performer uh each and every night i mean he he really held himself to a high level of being the double champion and being the IWGP heavyweight champion and intercontinental champion. And I think that there's just something about Naito right now that, uh, you know, he's on fire. And, and, and I, I just really think that he was the, the most consistent top level performer. I think certainly, you know, there's this, we talked about the, the triumph of the human spirit and, and when everything was happening, especially over the summer and, and for Naito to come back and then raise his hands with the fireworks flying over Jingu Stadium. That was just an incredible, one of the moments I'll never forget uh, from this year. But one of the moments I know, Gino, you'll, you won't forget is what happened after January the 5th. 
and Kenta charging to the ring, laying out Naito just as soon as he had everything. Kenta charges in and, and lays him out, sits on top. That was uh, certainly a moment. But uh, you know, your take at the end of the night, January the 5th, Switchblade Jay White, he might not be your pick for MVP, I guess because yo, he hasn't been as wrestling as consistently as Evil. But he's set to dominate 2021 and he's in the driver's seat with that briefcase, choosing to take the second night and choosing to take what has to be a weakened opponent on January the 5th. Look how good Jay White looks at the moment. He's, that man is a thoroughbred. That man is made to be double champion. You know what I like to say? Double dome, double gold. He missed out in Tokyo Dome this year, 2020, just. He should have been the man at the end with both belts. Now, Kenta came in and, you know, Bullet Club had a plan that whole time. But Jay White has this opportunity now to put himself on the apex of New Japan as double champion and they won't move from his waist. He will forever be our champion. He'll be the longest reigning New Japan IWGP Intercontinental, Intercontinental and Heavyweight Champion. I promise you that much. Night two, be prepared for Jay White to make history. So many moments to come, so much history to be made on January the 4th and January the 5th, 2021. We cannot wait to be with you from inside the Tokyo Dome. Myself, Rocky Romero, Kevin Kelly, Gino Gambino, not so much, but he'll be with us here in spirit. Gino, one last message for the people. I'm going to go with Snoop Dogg. Is this, is this, is this I got one last message. Are you ready? Go on. Go on. Gino. Gino is itchy, but I even did look, look at that. That's good Japanese right there. It's not bad. You know, it's, it's not the, you know, you see? It's, oh, look, I was worried, Rocky, I'll be honest. I didn't know what it said. It's better than, it's better than your, it's better than your Yoroshka on a It's, it's better than that. You're a better writer than a speaker, do you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll start writing my commentary there and that might work. There you go. We'll send it all by text. Yeah. Text to speech. Okay. <laughs> Rocky, I can't wait to see you. It's, it's going to be a, a, you know, just less than a, a few days to go until, until we're there inside the Tokyo Dome. No, I'm so excited uh, to finally be back in Japan after 10 months. I mean, I, I, I'm just super, super stoked to be with the people. Be back with you guys and, uh, and all of my New Japan and Chaos family. I, I can, just can't wait to be back in Japan. I, I hope everybody had a, an awesome New Year's. And let's do it, 2021 uh, Wrestle Kingdom. Let's do it. Whether you're here with us in person. Gino is Nibon. Gino is Nibon. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy with number two. Uh, Maybe I get a t shirt like Hogan that says Gino is number two. I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> We can't wait to have you, whether you're remotely or whether you're together, and we can't wait for, for New Japan Pro Wrestling to unite all of us into 2021. Of course, it all starts January the 4th, January the 5th, njpwworld.com for your local start times. Be there with us live on the king of spot streaming, njpwworld.com. For Gino Gambino, for Rocky Romero, I'm Chris Charlton. Until the Tokyo Dome, Goki Genyo, sayonara.